What? Dear Earthling, first off, no, we didn't probe you. Can you let the other Earthlings know we're really not into that and we'd like them to stop saying that about us? We noticed you were Telecasters, so we wanted to share one of ours with you as a gesture of friendship. Also, Elvis and Jimmy say hi. probably having one of two reactions right now. A, that's an abomination, it's straight out of the pits of a Leo Fender nightmare, and I hate it forever, or B, my god that's awesome. So which one is it? Is it an offense to the guitar gods, or is it maybe the perfect Telecaster? Welcome back to the channel, my name is Mike, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, I like to say that short films hooked up with a guitar review and their accidental baby started a YouTube channel, and that's kind of what I'm doing here. Uh, I have a couple of people to thank. Thank you, thank you all so very much. First is Keith Williams over at 5 Watt World, who doesn't know that I exist, but I know he exists. And I watched his video on the history of Strandberg, which was fascinating. I uh, highly recommend you see that video. Um, but it also kind of inspired me to like just want to try one out. I was like, wow, that's that's an amazing concept and what a cool story. Second, uh, the people at Strandberg, huge thank you for sending me this guitar to do a review on. Full disclosure, uh, I do not get to keep this guitar. They are not paying me to make this uh, review. I simply asked if they would send me a guitar and they said yes. They did not tell me what to say. They did not tell me what not to say. So major props to the people at Strandberg for uh, being just so awesome to work with. All right, there's a lot of ground to cover and I'm gonna do it as quickly as I possibly can. So we're gonna go over specs, build quality, playability, and then my final thoughts on the instrument. We'll begin with specs and like the end of any good date, we're gonna start at the neck, work our way down. <laughs> First thing you'll notice is that there's no headstock, so you can't complain about a headstock design. Win-win. There's a roasted maple neck with carbon fiber reinforcements, and of course there's that crazy looking endure neck profile. There's a roasted bird's eye maple fretboard, which looks amazing. It's got a 20 inch fretboard radius and 24 jumbo stainless steel frets. The neck also has those very cool lumen lay green side dots and green inlays. The neck joins the body with a very sculpted heel joint, and a four bolt construction. The body is a lightweight swamp ash, and in this case is painted a trans butterscotch for that classic telly look. And for pickups, Strandberg uses the Sir Classic T in the neck and the custom Sir Classic T bridge. There's a three way pickup selector, along with a master volume and master tone control. Now, the body, apart from its very unique look, also has arm, torso, and heel carves. And the bridge is Strandberg's own EGS Series 5 fixed bridge with string locks. <laughs> Let's jump into the build quality aspect because it's incredible. But one of the things that I've noticed a lot while researching this guitar online is kind of this notion that because it's made in Indonesia, it must not be very good. So let's put one aspect of this debate to bed right now. The build quality on this guitar is phenomenal. I think if you removed your knowledge of where it was, it was made, you would not question anything about it. It is incredible. The, the finish is perfect, all the parts, um, are really high quality, the neck joint's amazing, the fretwork is incredible. Um, you know, when you roll off the tone and volume, it actually like changes gradually. You know how some guitars you, you play and you're like trying to ch adjust the volume and like nothing happens, nothing happens, something crazy happens. <laughs> like that is not the case with this guitar. Like everything works incredibly well. It feels very premium. Um, honestly, the build quality is incredible. <laughs> Now 
let's talk playability because when you look at this, you go, that's strange and it has a triangle neck and no head and weird cuts. This thing blew my mind. When I picked it up, it just felt so natural. I didn't, it didn't to me take it like any time to get used to because I was like, oh my God, this is, like why don't my other guitars play like this? Like this is it. The balance is incredible. The neck shape took me almost no time to get used to whatsoever. And I thought especially that I was gonna have a hard time with it because you know, I'm not a solo lead person. I'm not a shredder uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I'm kind of like a thumb over chord chunker. I just want to share it that says thumb over chord chunker. <laughs> the only thing that I can really compare it to is the whole PC versus Mac debate and that PCs are piles of hot steaming garbage that I hate using. And the Mac is just perfect. Like I feel like this guitar was designed by Steve Jobs. <laughs> Okay, my final thoughts on the Strandberg Solen Classic. Now at the beginning, I set up a bit of a false choice when I asked, is this an abomination or is it the perfect Telecaster? And if I only had those two options, I'm going perfect Telecaster every single time. <laughs> Psych, we totally probed you. <laughs>